Varathena is one of the newer varicose vein therapies out there. Prior to Varathena's approval in the United States, it was being utilized in Europe for, for a long, long time with good results. But Varathena is actually a fairly new therapy in the United States. One of the main differences between Varathena and other forms of medication injection or sclerotherapy treatments for varicose vein disease is that it has a patented technology that allows a more effective kill rate of injected veins. Now, Varathena is similar in concept to previous treatments for varicose veins using chemicals, meaning we still put a needle into the vein under ultrasound guidance and inject the drug. And it has a unique patented technology that combines a unique level of carbon dioxide and oxygen with a drug called polydocanol into a essentially a slurry that looks like foam or shaving cream that we inject into the uh, veins over a several minute period of time. Because of that unique technology of the microfoam mixed with oxygen and carbon dioxide, the drug has a more even distribution of drug and a more prolonged contact with the vein wall so that the actual veins are more efficiently killed off with less treatments. There is a lot of patient concern because they hear you know, gas or microbubbles being introduced into their circulation. And I just want to let people know that are interested in this therapy that it actually is a very, very safe treatment. So the use of microbubbles with drug has been around for decades. It has been shown to be safe as long as a physician that's highly trained in the procedure is doing it. Um, the little microbubbles actually get absorbed very, very quickly because it's such a minute quantity of air or gas put into the medication. And there's been no significant side effects associated with the uh, drug that are concerning in terms of the risk, increased risk by, with the use of microbubbles. Um, there's still always going to be a very small risk of drug reactions or allergies, but it doesn't tend to be amplified by the mixture of gas with the drug and we feel like it only increases the effectiveness without adding any additional risk. So it is a very, very, very safe and effective treatment. Some of the advantages of the Varathena therapy over other therapies is that you can treat a large number of veins with a single therapy. So if there's multiple clusters in different locations on the leg um, because the disease has had a chance to spread, you can treat all of those clusters a lot of times at one session. Whereas a lot of the other therapies, you may only be able to treat one particular area of the vein on one day and then have to wait and come back and do another area later. One of the other advantages is the fact that you can actually treat a long segment of vein that is very tortuous, whereas other treatments you may not be able to treat as long of a segment or the segment may have to be more straight. So it really has a lot of applications to areas of anatomy that we were not otherwise able to treat with minimally invasive methods. And another nice thing about the Varathena therapy is it cannot not only be used for surface veins that you actually are seeing, but can also be used for deeper veins in the leg that you're not seeing. So in the past, a lot of times we would treat a deeper vein with one technology such as laser or radiofrequency energy, and then bring the patient back another day to do the surface treatments with a different therapy. Um, such as injection or what we refer to as microphlebectomy. But with Varathena, you can actually take care of an entire process of vein disease and therefore minimize the chances of recurrence later. One of the other advantages of Varathena therapy over a lot of other varicose vein therapies is that it can be utilized in a large different variety of vein sizes. A lot of other therapies may be isolated to certain particular veins in the leg in certain locations or certain vein sizes versus Varathena can be applied to almost all vein diameters from as small as one millimeter to up to a centimeter in size um, when it comes to particular locations of veins in the leg. So we can apply the technology or the medication to larger, deeper veins where we inject them under ultrasound guidance when they're defective to fairly small surface veins called reticular veins that are a lot of times a cosmetic concern to the patient but may, maybe not necessarily associated with pain or, or swelling. The Varathena therapy is applicable to most patients with varicose veins. There's very few exceptions of where patients are not am amendable to that form of therapy. Uh, and the reason is, is it can be used in a lot of different types of anatomy, both above the knee as well as below the knee. So there are many patients that basically can have that treatment and have good success with it. Some of the times where you may not want to use the, the therapy is in extremely large veins. Sometimes the veins are too big to be able to respond effectively to the chemical because you just can't deliver enough or a high, high enough concentration of the chemical to the area to effectively kill it. 
or if you did try to deliver too much drug to that area, it might cause some sort of skin reaction. So certain patients with very large ropey veins that have really let their vein disease go for a long time may not be a candidate for varathena. Another reason that patients may not be candidates for varathena is if they've had an allergic reaction to the particular type of drug class that we're using. We wouldn't want to risk another type of a drug reaction. Uh, each time you have a reaction to a particular medication class of drug, then your risk the next time is significant. So uh, that would be another reason is a history of, of drug allergy. The last reason to potentially not offer varathena therapy to a patient is if they're really anxious about having a procedure done while they're awake or very anxious about needle sticks because all of our varathena treatments are done in the doctor's office. They're done with the access of the vein using a needle. So patients that are, are really squeamish about you know having a needle put in their leg would not be a good candidate for it. But overall, most patients that have varicose veins can be a candidate for varathena therapy.